You're, you're, you're right about what you said. What happened is um, there's kind of a um, nasty type of marketing going on out there where they'll bash somebody so that they get your attention and then they slowly tell you about their program. Now, when I first looked up, when I first coming down passive, I do what you call your due diligence, but I don't take negative comments by itself. Like when I read about ask, there were some pretty nasty things said, but I, I researched what really, really happened. And I want to explain that. As before, I had no negative things ever said about him until he decided to create on passive. I couldn't find anything until after the fact. And I want to tell you what happens in the MLM world. Ask was in a few businesses, and when he got in, he learned how the system worked. He looked at the pay plan, and he built to max it out. That's what he did, and he's a master at it. He could drive his own traffic, and that's exactly what he did. As he did that, he realized that he couldn't bring anybody with him, and it bothered him. And if you know Ask, you know it bothered him. So as with his own money would create and develop a system for each business he's ever been in to hand to people that if they use it, it can help them get as close to the level as he is and build a team. Now, remember, he's taking money out of his pocket, tens of thousands of dollars. Here's the problem. So he gets in company A. He builds a system. It takes time. It takes a long time. It takes a lot of money because he wanted to bring people with him. And some people, you can't duplicate what you're doing. So you make a system that they can use. You know, here's a sidecar on my motorcycle. You, you let him get in with you. <coughs> he told me about 1% used it. 1, 2%, not very many. So in some cases, some cases, not to put anybody down, part of the 97% are lazy. Okay, they're not going to make it because they're leased. Now, so he built the system. Then he said, well, I built the system. Some people are starting to use it. It's looking a little better. I don't like the feeling because I can't bring anybody with me. And you wake up, the company's folded. And he goes, I've even told the companies and told them, I'll help you stay afloat. This is how Ash is. Listen to what I'm saying. They wouldn't, they folded. Now, because MLM focuses on the big recruiters, when the companies die, the only people standing there are the faces of the company, but it's not really the company, it's a super affiliate. So companies folded, looked up, who did they see? Ash Mubara. We didn't make it because of Ash. No, Ash was a victim too, just a bigger victim. He did well, but he was a victim. Then he moved to the next one and he said, I'll just bring my system with me and I'll give it to people to help them build it, whatever company it was. Then he said, oh my God, I can't. I used that system to build that company's name and that company's out of business. I would have to change the name and everything. So he would rebuild another system for a totally separate company that he has no control over, zero. He built it, built it, built it. And for one reason or another, whether it was the pay plan or whatever, whatever, it would fold just like they all do. There's very few businesses that are still running more than six months. Okay, Amway, Avon, I mean, some of them you know, but you can name a lot more that aren't here that were here last six months ago. So then he said, okay, this sucks. I could go back to the corporate world. This isn't about Ash making money. It was about Ash getting freedom. He knows how to make money. So he, he goes, I don't want to go back to the corporate world because it's more corrupt than where I'm at. So he went to his wife. I'm, we're going to have to build our own. There's nothing out there. She probably wasn't. I don't think she was real keen about it. But the, they came out with his wife said, you can build something. But don't spend the people's money. So that if any founder wants their money back, you can give it. And to this point, he spent none of the money. And then he built on pass. But the stuff you're seeing, a lot of the really bad, nasty things about ass are about two and a half years old. And they're just not true. 
and, and I know they're not true anyway, and I didn't think they were, but that's just vulture marketing. That's, some of them just do it. YouTubers will do it. A YouTuber come on and say, he's a scammer, he's this, he's that. But if you trace the YouTuber back, he's got a whopping three subscribers. He doesn't use his real name because he's a coward. We be toys or some stupid thing. But you can't find out who he is because he doesn't want to really tell you who he is because he doesn't have a backbone. He's a squid. And I've caught a couple of them. I go right back and find out who they are. And I said, wow, you got a lot to say with your whopping five freaking, you know, people that joined your channel. Yeah, let's follow you. He's broke. Mm -hmm. He's trying to get you to follow him. That's why when you see something negative, you don't go after it, ignore it. That's yeah. what they want you to do. But Mandy, no, what? If, if Ashley Flora was a crook, let me give you an example. This is just common sense. If I gave 10 grand to my neighbor, the FBI would be at my front door. Ash is messing with millions and he's in broad daylight. You could go to his house. Okay, use common sense. Common sense is if he's doing what people say he's doing, he's not hiding very well. He's got an office, people have visited him. They've gone to the company. It's just dumb. When people say it, it's ignorant. It's okay to make a mistake. It's dumb. It doesn't make sense. The first couple of months, maybe we're not sure. Now, concrete building, he's building other buildings. He's on live. He shows you his kids. I mean, it's just ridiculous. And I know I answered the question way past what you asked. But <laughs> no, sorry. that's okay. That's fantastic. So anybody out there who is in doubt and sitting on the fence or wondering, you know, or they have researched. And one of the things that I did learn about, you know, research is you can go and research any company. And but basically those ones who are saying it's a scam, have a look at them because usually it goes back to them as having their own program to sell. They want to say, hey, this is a scam, but look at what we're doing. And they want to sell, resell you into something else. So every company out there has these things, you know, whether it be MLM companies like um, uh, Marty was saying, you know, whether it's Amway, Avon, Avon closed down here in Australia, uh, Melaleuca, go and research some of those MLM companies and you'll find exactly those same scammers on there who are scamming, saying that they're a scam, but they're the scammers, if you know what I mean. So thank you, Marty. It was uh, very well uh, spoken and a lot of information there so that people actually understand we are bricks and mortar. We don't just have two buildings for the heck of it. You know, <laughs> we, we are housed, all of our tech team there in India and our CEO is very, very transparent to the point that he comes out, he talks to us, his, his founders, and he will not just spend five minutes, he will spend not one hour, but he will spend as long as he, it takes for anyone to have any questions. And we can speak to our uh, CEO. I've spoken to him myself.